It is lunchtime here in Mesa, Thailand, and I thought I'd bring a camera along so I can show you a little bit more of my new neighborhood here in Mesa. I'm staying at a place called the Panu House. I used to be at the Green Guest House here in Mesa, which is not far away. It's also kind of right downtown, but just on the other side of uh, downtown. Panu House is still very close to downtown just sort of on the other side and I'm slowly tracking down new places to eat, new places to top up my um, data account for my smartphone, new places to get drinking water. You know, you got to find all these things in your new neighborhood. And uh, the lunch spots here are one of the best uh, discoveries for me. I'm actually quite hungry. And uh, I'm going to start with my current favorite. I don't know whether it's open or not. When I come around this corner, I'm going to find out. And yes, it is open. So this is my current favorite lunch spot. This is a, a sign for the place in Thai. And it's run by a Filipino woman, a Filipina, with her Thai husband. So they have a mixture of Filipino food and Thai food. So you can see a lot of the dishes that they make here. And I think this is what I'm going to have today. This is my current favorite dish, adobo pork. So they have a variety of uh, Filipino dishes. There's tocino pork. stir-fried sliced chicken with sweet basil, stir-fried minced pork. I think those are kind of Thai dishes. And uh, in these pots here at the front, you've got your bare berry like adobo pork and things like that. So I've just uh, taken a seat inside. I really like it here. It's very comfortable. The uh, Filipino woman that runs this place, I believe her name is Salvador Mary Jane. And uh, she speaks English very well. And her husband is from Thailand, but he also speaks English very well. So I always feel very comfortable when I come here. You know, I always have a nice uh, chat. And here's uh, some of the menu on the wall beside my table. And one thing I love about these uh, small restaurants like this is when they have a, an area like this where you can get your own ice water. So if you sit down and you look around and you see one of these coolers, usually, there you go, it's filled with uh, fresh ice. and. Uh, have some cups here, nicely uh, cover it up with uh, ice, ice tongs, so you can uh, help yourself to ice. Mm. And then they always have a fresh your uh, drinking water for you. Another of my uh, favorite things about uh, this restaurant and kind of restaurants similar to this one. I love the ice water station, you know, where you can help yourself to uh, ice water. I love that. And after, when you order your meal, you often get a complimentary bowl of soup with your meal, kind of a, uh, you know, a soup broth, which is always very welcome. And uh, the food here is really, really good. My uh, soup and uh, pork adobo is here at the table. I'll show you what it looks like. So there's the, uh, the bowl of soup that came with my meal. And look at this. Gorgeous uh, pork adobo. 
really generous uh, portion of uh, pork and uh, I ordered some boiled eggs with it and you get cucumber slices and really nice rice and there's uh, the setting I can see out onto the streets and something else I really appreciate about this place is just how clean it is everything is so clean and nicely organized with all of the you know the food area you know sort of covered up with uh, little sheets and uh, towels to keep off any flies or anything like that or any dust from the road you know everything here is very well uh, organized and clean I really like that Ooh, all right let's uh, give this a try first uh, complimentary uh, bowl of soup Yeah, very nice. You know, uh, lightly flavored uh, broth based on whatever it was they were cooking this day. I guess uh, usually uh, like chicken broth, something like that. But it's always nice to have with your meal. Mm. And then the uh, main course, pork adobo. I've had this here before uh, quite a few times, actually. So uh, I know what to expect. The pork itself is really tender. I just, uh, I can eat it with a spoon. You just like, it cuts right through. Yeah, cuts right through the, uh, right through the pork, no problem. It's so tender. It has a really nice flavor. I'm not really up on my uh, flavors and recipes and cooking techniques. But from what I know of Filipino cooking, like the pork adobo has a little bit of a um, tangy, um, vinegary type flavor because I believe the pork in pork adobo is marinated for a long time in kind of a vinegar sauce, something like that. That's why it becomes so tender and just has a lot of flavor. It's really, really good. really nice. So I'm going to settle in and enjoy my uh, pork adobo and I'll check in with you a bit later. Lunch is done. So there it is behind me, my favorite restaurant in Mesod at the moment, Salvador Mary Jane. If you're in the mood for uh, some Thai dishes or some Filipino food, this is the place to come. <laughs>